As brands move from bricks to clicks, BrandAid provides expert resources and insights. Welcome to the BrandAid video conversation. Um, have you seen a, a tendency or challenge for clients to understand that distinction? Um, at least in my case, I tend to have people who come in and right. they want to, they come in with, a, with what they believe is a great name. Mm -hmm. But it tends sure. to describe what they're doing. Right. And it's a natural tendency because they want to take uh, the fastest route they can to get consumer recognition by telling people, you know, easy off oven cleaner. They want people to understand that's an attribute of the oven cleaner. Um, the problem is you can't stop all your competitors from saying our XYZ product makes it easier or we can take off dirt. Yeah, faster. use the word off, faster, yeah. etc. So, you know, it, the good news and bad news is it gives you an immediate entry into the marketplace. If you called your oven cleaner Pepsi, you've got a lot more education and marketing to, to tell the consumer what it means. But once you do, then you've got a very strong trademark and can protect it against others. Whereas if you go with the, the easier route, which as you said, most, a lot of our clients want to do, um, that, that, that presents problems. And that's a pull and tug between trademark lawyers and, and business people generally. All the business people, they get it. They really get it, but they, they still, their tendency is, their default is to go to something, you know, highly descriptive or just, if I misspell a K and a C, is that good enough, you know? And of course, it, it, if it's still a descriptive word or a generic word worse, then, then it certainly, you know, is a problem.